Hi, my name is Bradford Lee Walton and I'm a writer director and a producer. Hi, and I'm Diana Petrovich. I'm also um, a producer and co-writer with Bradford and also script editor for our scripts. Five Moons of Pluto is a short film. Um, it's a standalone short film, but it also works as a proof of concept for a feature film that we have, a feature film script. We wanted to create something in the Redlands that actually showcased our skill sets and uh, was a good calling card for our production company, Cleveland Film Company, which we set up here two years ago. We uh, intentionally relocated to the Redlands um, after going backwards and forwards across the pond to Los Angeles. And there was a lot of people over there who have a lot of interest in the developing film industry in Southeast Queensland. Um, the Screen Queensland and the State Screen Agency had identified three hot spots for film production over the next 10 years on the industry roadmap. Um, one was Winton, one was Movie World, and one was Cleveland. So we thought we'll get in ahead of everyone else. We're very fortunate enough to um, engage and get the sponsorship of Cleveland District, District State High School, which was great. Um, and uh, we used the, the shorelines and the bay, um, and we also secured the planetarium partnering with Cleveland District State High School. Um, that was one of the locations, as I mentioned, um, and we had five interns from their film um, school. So uh, they had a blast and they were fantastic on the set and so we provided that mentoring as well. So, And frankly, the, yeah. the film, I mean, we wrote the script in 2015. And then in 2016, Diala, um, without telling me, entered the script into the um, Australian Writers Guild Awards, yeah. so I got nominated for the Mont Miller Award for Best Unproduced Short Script, yeah. which gave it a lot of oxygen, which was good, um, but it wouldn't have seen the light of day if it wasn't for the Radov Fund. Yeah. I mean, that was really what um, enabled, empowered us to have some level of working capital that we could actually then astutely invest <coughs> in piecemeal amounts to just, you know, grease the wheels and start getting the momentum from that. Um, as a consequence of what we've done with the preliminary pre-production and I mean all the cast are from the Redlands and so on so um, we were then able to put a submission into the Redlands City Council who very kindly then yeah, put up a sponsorship grant for production equipment. So that was in the next sort of phase of it as it were yeah. and then we basically then just went to our piggy bank and, um, and paid for the rest. Uh, I had a meeting with Kristen Banks, actually, the Redland City Council, who's from the Film Advisory Officer's Office, or she's a Film Advisory Officer, and uh, she then put me in touch with Elaine. And um, we were at a, it's an interesting situation because we had written the script, storyboarded the film, and we were undertaking basically location surveys, looking to where to shoot it. Um, we didn't have any money to make the film other than our own money. and. Uh, basically, Radoff were kind enough to look at the quality of the project and look at the opportunities the project afforded, not just us as artists, but also the other artists involved, because um, the production you know, involved the Redland Symphonia, and obviously all of those players. Um, it involved uh, local art director, um, cinematographers, and, and, and so on. So they looked at the, the project as a whole and said, well, for this particular section that the Regional Arts Development Fund was getting behind, that was preliminary pre-production for us. So that spoke to predominantly casting and locations. I think that it's great if you are able to address something that's your own work, <clears throat> your own artistic piece, it would be even more beneficial for your application if it speaks to how it might assist at least one other person artistically as well. I mean, I think that was the key thing with this project. We were talking by the end of it, like about 25 people who would be directly, get some benefit from what it was we were actually doing. So that gave it um, more, more gravity, I think. Um, and, you know, do your homework, get all your, all, get all your paperwork in order. It's a bit of paperwork, but it should be, it is. you know. Yeah. So it's online um, and obviously it's putting together um, CVs and support letters. Uh, which we were able to do. And then obviously um, going through the guidelines of the application and how it's gonna benefit the community, how it might benefit the arts. Um, is it in line with um, you know, the council's, um, I guess, future uh, vision of film in, in the Redlands? Uh, so it was all speaking to that. Um, and then obviously outlining the budget and what we were gonna do uh, where the money would be being spent because it's prescriptive. Um, and then wait. 
and keep your fingers crossed that you know it's keep successful going. and keep Put going. And then yeah. Keep going. Yes. So. Um, you're gonna have good response. Yeah. And obviously, meeting um, having Elaine there as the rat of person at the time, if we had any questions, being able to contact her, so that was invaluable. I mean, the support was was fantastic. So, it's a great program, and I encourage everybody you know that um, meets the guidelines to certainly apply.